fellow Guyanese, good morning. To those who are observing Ramadan, I know you're, in, you're all in the final phase, and I hope that the blessings of this month will come to every single home in our country. This morning, I want to congratulate and thank all those who participated in the exercise yesterday, nomination day for local government elections. Local government elections are key, an important part of our democracy, and it's a testimony to the People's Progressive Party civic commitment in maintaining a democratic society, in advancing governance, and ensuring that our local democratic organs are functioning effectively and efficiently. The People's Progressive Party, we are pleased and honored as a party to have the backing and candidates to contest every single constituency and every single local authority, whether it's a township or an NDC across our beautiful country, Guyana. I congratulate all the candidates. I thank all the backers and all the supporters for the hard work that they would have put in ensuring that the PPP is contesting every constituency. Because for us, every constituency is valuable. For us, every community is valuable. For us, every region is valuable. For us, every Guyanese, every single Guyanese is valuable. I am most pleased this morning to look at all the images across our country and to see the true nature of the People's Progressive Party, bringing our Guyanese of all ethnicity, all background, all persuasion, all political affiliation, every single Guyanese coming together under a common banner of inclusivity, building trust, enhancing trust, and developing and putting our country first and foremost. To all those who <clears throat> are new to the People's Progressive Party, as candidates, supporters, backers, we welcome you. I am so pleased that all of you are with us on this journey in building a better country, better communities, and in fostering development for your fellow Guyanese brothers and sisters. This is not about a political party. This is about a country. This is about society. This is about our people. And I want you to stay strong. I've been looking at different comments from some leaders in the sporting community, people who call themselves national coaches and assistant coaches. I've been uh, reading comments from the leader of the opposition, someone who speaks about democracy and inclusiveness. And some of the statement uh, that is attributed to him and that he's making is of great cause for concern. For example, using comments like money as disposal for black support. That is disparaging. You care to respect our Afro-Guyanese brothers and sisters, and this is what you will say to them, that they can be bought? That backward type of politics, that disheartening type of politics is something for the past. That can't win anymore in the future, Mr. Norton. That can't bring people together. That age-old strategy of yours has died. Understand this. You cannot disparage people this way, that they can be bought with money. That is what we fought for against slavery and indentureship. People cannot be bought in a modern society. You don't believe that our Afro-Guyanese brothers and sisters who joined us that they have the capacity to think and analyze for themselves. Why can't we let these elections be one where we're debating ideas, where we're sharing ideas? <clears throat> then you're saying that people were paid to put on a jersey. This is how you think and believe in our people. This is how you view our Guyanese brothers and sisters, especially our Afro-Guyanese brothers and sisters, that they are so susceptible that they can be paid to put on a jersey. This type of disparaging politics, disparaging view of people is disrespectful. And I denounce it. I denounce such disrespect to our people. I want to encourage all Guyanese 
every single Guyanese who will embrace us as a political party, that the future belongs to all of you. This beautiful country belongs to all of us. Guyana belongs to every single citizen. And I'm so pleased that so many of us are responding to a national call in creating a common platform to foster development in which democracy can grow, in which tolerance can grow. The demonstration of the wide cross-section of Guyanese in support of the People's Progressive Party is a demonstration of what democracy can do, bring people together, the level of tolerance, respect, and honor we give to each other. Developing a new paradigm in which the future is built on ideas and vision, is built on a focus for what is good for national development, what is good for our country, and not a future that is built on racism and one that is built on division and one that is built on dishonor. I've seen leading members of the opposition calling on the boycott of businesses owned by afro guyanese people. What nonsense is this? What backwardness is this? This is what you call leadership? This is what you call building inclusive society? This is what you call democracy? This is what you call tolerance? Oh, my dear friends, it is not. Why can't you provide good leadership by respecting the rights of people? Good leadership is to respect the choices of people. Respect, that is what democracy is. It gives people choices. We will continue to build a society that points to inclusiveness. I want us all to understand that joining a political party or a political system is part of your democratic right and value. You should not be chastised. This is so disheartening and coming from the leadership of the opposition, believing that people, it's such disparaging comment that people can be bought and people can be sold. What backwardness is this? You know, many of these people believe, and they quote from the scriptures, I want to remind them of Genesis 1:27. God makes no distinction between inherent value of one race or ethnicity over another. No. There is no inherent value of one race over another. You know, as we're in the month of Ramadan in the Prophet's final song, he made it clear there is no superiority for an Arab over a non-Arab, or a non-Arab over an Arab, or a white over a black, or a black over a white only by good deeds, good action. We are living in a modern society. A modern society must be built on a framework of tolerance, democracy, respect for the rule of law. It must be focused on development of ideas and a vision that leads to national development. And this is what Guyanese of all walks of life, Guyanese of all ethnicity, this is what they're embracing. They don't want to be part of the problem of the past. They want to be part of the solution, part of creating a new paradigm in building this one Guyana, in advancing the concept of one Guyana, a concept that speaks to national unity, that bridges the gap of inequality, that looks at dismantling disparity. How can we do this? We can only do this when we bring leaders, when we incubate new leaders. And that is what took place yesterday. We saw a demonstration of the incubation of new leadership. A leadership across all ethnicity and religious line. A leadership that is hungry for a better Guyana, a unified Guyana. Unfortunately, they find that type of resonance with the People's Progressive Party city. I therefore want to assure them that every single day of this journey, I'll be there. Every single day of this journey, the leadership of the People's Progressive Party Civic will be there. I want to take this time also to commend the leadership of the People's Progressive Party, from the General Secretary, the Executive and Central Committee, and the leaders all across Guyana, in every community, in every single region, for the strong work, for their commitment, and for their commitment 
in ensuring that this party reflects who we are as Guyanese, reflect us as a country, and reflect the national makeup of our country. I could not be any more prouder than I was seeing all the images. Onward, we shall go. Forward, we shall move. Determined under the cause of a unified Guyana. Determined under the cause of a Guyana that brings development for every community. Under the banner of one Guyana. Bridging all the divides. Filling all the gaps. Advancing forward in unity and progress. Prosperity will come and must come. God bless all of you. I thank you. And together we shall overcome. God bless you.